computers get hot. Data processing is fundamental to our modern lives. But it has a devastating climate impact. In 2018, it created the same amount of CO2 as the airline industry, and by 2030, it will consume 8% of global electricity and generate 1.8 gigatons of CO2. Compute needs to become more sustainable. But how? Computers get hot. Really hot. In fact, 20 to 60% of a data center's energy is spent on air conditioning. And all that useful heat is simply thrown out into the air. But the heat from a single data center could provide the hot water for 11,000 homes. But moving heat is hard. Moving bits and bytes is easy. Here's how HETA works. Batch compute workloads are uploaded to our cloud platform, which sends them to our powerful compute servers attached to hot water cylinders in people's homes. The waste heat from the processing heats the water in the cylinder, supplying 80% of an average UK household's daily hot water at no cost to the household, turning a compute problem into a social benefit. Meet the heater unit, a powerful compute server with a patented thermal transfer mechanism. It retrofits to vented hot water cylinders using an installation process that has been tested and approved by British Gas. It has a wired or wireless connection to get jobs from the cloud, and companies pay for the processing power, generating free hot water for the household as a byproduct. It works alongside the existing heating system, which will still provide hot water if the heater unit stops working. Overall, a heater unit uses 56% less electricity and saves one tonne of CO2 per year versus a typical data centre, plus hot water heating. Heater's data centre is distributed throughout the UK, each unit doing its bit to save carbon and provide hot water. Who benefits from heater? Compute buyers can decarbonize their compute. Landlords can improve the energy efficiency of their homes. And households can enjoy free hot water. And the Earth benefits too. Heater. Harnessing heat from cloud compute.